Hey gang, my name is James White. Welcome to the Signal Noise Broadcast. We're going to be looking at a couple of fun zines today. Let's do it. We got a fun one today. We're going to be looking at a couple of Rizograt zines, Mellow and Zeal. So both of these came out around the same time, but under very different circumstances. This was around the end of 2019 and this was during 2020. So Mellow was released just before the pandemic and COVID and all that stuff kicked off. And Zeal was released in the midst of being under lockdown and all that kind of thing. So very different circumstances, but probably only six months apart, these things. So we're gonna start with Mellow. And this was picked up by my wife for me. And uh, Mellow, I believe, was accompanied by an art show and, uh, and she came across it, I think on Instagram or something like that, or maybe through a couple of uh, artists that she follows and uh, ordered this for me because I was in the, I was picking up a lot of zines at the time because I wanted to do things like this for the channel where I go through them and this one looked great and it featured a lot of local artists to, uh, to Newcastle upon Tyne over here in the UK and uh, really great. And I wasn't familiar with the risograph print process at the time. And it's something I'm really interested in. And uh, the studio that printed this is, uh, is here in Newcastle, so we'll uh, give them a shout out later on. But uh, thank you to Naomi for, uh, for getting this thing for me. It's a beautiful piece of work. Came with this little print, and uh, this, is, this issue is called Good Morning. And these are the two colors that they use to, uh, to print this thing. And I'm absolutely blown away by the amount of variation that they can get by only using these two colors with uh, risograph. And that's why I'm really interested in trying risograph myself. That'd be really, really fun. So this cover, and I didn't know it at the time because I didn't know him at the time, this cover was designed by my dude Andrew Bell. He's from here in Newcastle, really talented illustrator. And just unfold this so you can get a better look at it. So there's the whole thing. And if you're from Newcastle or you've been in Newcastle, and uh, if you're walking around and you see stickers of a little red character that, uh, that looks like him, that's Andrew's work. So big shouts to Andrew. And all of these were uh, numbered as well, so I got number 76. So let's just take a flip through this thing. It's really well produced and uh, I'll give a shout out to the studio that, uh, that printed it uh, at the end. Real nice use of tracing paper in here to give a little bit of a, a, little bit of a divider before we get into the main, the main title page. Really good, like a lot of these halftone patterns and things, like it doesn't show up on camera, but this is all halftone back here. Really nicely done. So this is Mellow number one. And it's exactly like I said, it's a bunch of uh, local artists that were all doing illustrations, I believe around a common theme of good morning. So all of the things that you do in the morning and uh, yeah, beautiful stuff. And uh, all the credits will be at the end. So I'll be sure to give everybody a shout out, but there's such a diversity of style in this thing. And the risograph print method is really interesting. And I, I can't tell if this is intentionally offset or not, but it gives that like almost wobble to the line. So you got the blue line and the pink line. And if they're slightly offset, it gives that really like, almost like what 3D does, like that old school 3D with the uh, the red and the blue. Really awesome. And like I said, the, the range and style is gonna be all over this thing. And I cannot believe that this is only two colors. Like this is absolutely wild. Like it looks like there's about, you know, five or six different colors in here. So awesome. So I did a little bit of research on what uh, risograph is, and uh, it has its roots in uh, Japan. And apparently, it's uh, it was or like riso or yeah, I think riso means ideal in print in uh, Japanese. Sorry, and it was developed as a cheap alternative uh, because uh, Japan couldn't get uh, the em emulsion needed to do a lot of the print jobs back in after World War II. So they had to come up with a cheap and affordable way of doing prints and the risograph was developed as an answer to that. So it was like print is for everybody, sort of an idea. And uh, yeah, so that's where that came up. And I think the uh, the original inks were based on soy. They were like soy inks or something. So yeah, pretty cool. Which is weird because like I, I never heard of risograph until very recently, like just within the last five years. Probably the first time I got this is when I, when I first heard of it. And, uh, you know, looking through this, it's something that I would love to get into, like picking the two colors and then seeing how much, um, you know, how much variation in that you can pull. Like uh, this here has stipple pattern in there. Morning breath. Love letter to my bed. <laughs> I want to be in you. <laughs> like, look at this crazy thing. 
Like it is unbelievable. You look at this and you'd assume that there's an orange in there or something and purple and absolutely crazy that it's only two colors. The, the mania in this line work, absolutely fantastic. A little bit of Kirby dots back there, a little bit of Jack Kirby sneaking in. Yeah, just beautiful. This is great. It actually shows up better. I'm just looking at my monitor over here when I'm when I'm when I'm recording this, and uh, it actually it's two different experiences, uh, no doubt, because you can see all of the all the noise and all the texture work if I'm looking at it for real, and then it just kind of pulls it all together when you look at it on the screen. Very cool. It's beautiful illustration. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, at the end of this, they have all of the uh, the credits and stuff. So I'll be sure to linger on that if you want to look any of these artists up. I think it gives all of their Instagram Instagram handles and everything if you want to look at any of these. Just beautiful stuff. So Monoprint, that's the company that printed this. And uh, they're here in Newcastle. This is so great. And this tech, this stock is so thick. It's like almost cardboardy. Yeah, really awesome. And this was a uh, just a passion project by the people that run Monoprint or the person that runs Monoprint because I read up a little bit on the story. And uh, they normally do art prints, you know, not unlike the one that came with this, like singular off art prints. And uh, they wanted, they really wanted to do a zine and uh, didn't know how to do it, didn't know, know the challenges or whatever. And, uh, you know, got together with a bunch of friends and uh, Mellow was the result of that. So really cool, really cool to see them. They wanted to push themselves to, uh, to really make this happen. And uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll just linger on this for a second. These are all the artists that contributed uh, art to this zine. And uh, there's my buddy, Andrew Bell, and uh, everybody else, like a super talented bunch. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to look these people up to, uh, to see if they're all local. I think they are. And uh, yeah, published in Newcastle upon Tyne in 2019. Just pre-pandemic. And uh, I really wish I went to this art show. I uh, didn't know what was happening. And I don't think Naomi knew it was happening. And I think we might have picked this up after the fact, I believe. Or the art show was just before I moved here, because I moved here in late 2019, so... There we go. So that's Mellow, and uh, if you want to check this out, uh, I forgot to give them a shout out. Uh, they do have an Instagram account. Uh, it's still active, I checked, and it's just Mellow Magazine. There it is there. So if you pop over to that, they actually have, this one's called Good Morning, and since this has come out, they have released uh, issue number two called Good Evening. So uh, that's also available, and I ordered it before anybody goes crazy and gets that thing sold out before I can get a copy. But uh, once that comes in, I'll do another feature on the, that one because I can't wait to see a lot of the art in there. So. Anyway, shouts to everybody that worked on this. It's a beautiful magazine. The colors are amazing. And uh, yeah, I am stoked to have this. All right, zine number two. We're going to be looking at Zeal Zine. Now, this is done by my buddy Andrew, Andrew Hockradle, over in, I believe he's still in California, over there in LA. And he did this in response to uh, COVID and all the lockdowns happening. And issue one centers around community. And it was, I believe, done at a beautiful time when the, the design community online kind of came together because we were all scared. We didn't know what was happening to the world or our industry or if we we're gonna have work ever again, client jobs dried up. And there was a lot of video content and a lot of collaborative projects going on around that time. And this was a result of that. So Andrew, you know, uh, put his head together with a bunch of other artists and came up with this. And uh, so big shouts to Andrew for putting Zeal Zine together. Now this is, I might be flipping back and forth, but these are all the people that contributed to issue number one. And uh, a real talented bunch. And uh, Andrew's, Andrew's a wonderful human being and uh, you know, very, very well connected over there, in, uh, over there in California and knows a lot of really talented artists and that's gonna be uh, made evident as we flip through this. So I might be flipping back to, uh, to remind myself who the artists are that did, these, uh, did the particular stuff. We start off with a wonderful poem, An Ode to Community by Kelly Ayotte. And don't know if, again, if I don't know if it shows up, but it has little red letters and the red letters spell out community within the, uh, within the poem. Here's a uh, playing card piece by Ethan Silva. Really good. And again, that gradient, I don't know how people can do this using only two colors, but uh, yeah, real nice work. And this one here is Victor, Victor Davila, or Victor Davila. Uh, this, this wonderful little illustration, great line work in this. Like love a good cartoon. There's another example of that offset. So I don't know if people are doing that intentionally or if it's just like a limitation of the, uh, of the print technology. Either way, it looks super cool. Really lends itself nicely to, this, uh, to the medium. Here's the Mahoney Studio. So this was a piece by Patrick Mahoney. 
and here's a bunch of booze on the wall by Caleb Bowl. Real punchy blue. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Andrew, you did real good picking these colors, man. Like th these look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is a great one. So this was a collaborative piece uh, with uh, Doc Reed and Dylan uh, Menges. Menges. Sorry, Dylan, if I, mis I'm, if I mispronounce any names, I'm, I'm so sorry. But this is a beautiful piece with uh, all of these rabbits. You kind of follow them around. They're doing a bunch of stuff down in their little rabbit holes. And I assume this is kind of a uh, uh, an analogy for all of us being trapped inside during the all the lockdowns that were happening. And, uh, you know, and doing different things to uh, to entertain ourselves. So, you know, watching watching movies and, uh, you know, having a dance and having a dance off, doing some paintings, having an art show down here, doing some skateboarding. And uh, this here says, Welcome to Carrot South. And I can't help but think that that's a uh, shout out to Creative South down in Georgia. Shouts to Mike. Lovely community. It's such a great piece. And here's a piece by Steph Sat Saliling. Again, apologies if I'm butchering your names. And uh, lovely drawing. And uh, we need each other. I mean, let's cut right to the chase, right? And that's a piece by Daryl Pinnock, right here. This is a clever one. Again, using the two colors to your advantage, right? The uh, This says grown and grown, G-R-O-W-N, and then G-R-O-A-N. So it's, uh, you know, the growing of the flower and then the wilting of the flowers. And that's a piece by Emily Poulin. Did this one here. And this is by our guy Andrew right here. So Andrew, I got a question for you. Is this legitimately done with uh, typesetting? With actual wooden letters and ink and all that kind of stuff? Or is this done on the computer and made to look like that? <laughs> I'll, put you in the, I'll put you under the hot lights, man. Beautiful piece. And also, I was trying to figure out if this says anything. And I can't figure out if it quite does. So I might be missing some kind of like secret message that's codified into this. Because Andrew's clever that way. All right, and we got the next one. This one is by Alex Mera, Diversidad. And uh, the one over here, Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. A quote from Helen Keller, and that would be by Shauna Lynn, oh, Shauna, I'm so sorry. Shauna Lynn Panzissin. <laughs> Her Instagram handle is uh, Parmesan, Shauna Parmesan. So I'm just gonna go with that one. I'm so sorry, Shauna. I absolutely butchered your name. And we end off, on the last page with a, uh, <laughs> I'm an introvert, a piece by Jordan Ayotte. So there you have it. And uh, Zealzine was available and it's still available through Andrew's website. And I think it's just zealzine.com and that'll ping you over to his store and you can pick that up. It's still available. And uh, all of the proceeds to this were donated to charity and I'm blanking on the charity that you donated to, but a really good cause and uh, big shouts to Andrew. For putting this out it was a really wonderful gesture and a really really great mail day when this thing showed up so big shouts to andrew and big shouts to uh the crew behind mellow uh two wonderful zines both risographs uh and i highly recommend if you have the means to uh, to support any of these people i'll put the links below to uh to where you can reach out to them thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the signal noise broadcast if you'd like to continue the conversation join us on discord at discord.gg signalnoise and if you'd like to see what official products I have available, please drop by the Signal Noise store at store.signalnoise.com. I'll see you next time, and stay rad.